It seems like we're hearing this a lot. Some families have lost everything as those record-breaking floods fill the River Valley. As for one woman, it's a second natural disaster she's lived through. And Kiriko Zuka spoke with her as well as a renter on what's next. Yeah, again. And another flood. This recent historic flooding in Fort Smith isn't new to resident Sheila Clayton. I have been in one before. I've been in Katrina. She says Hurricane Katrina was worse because she was stranded in her home for several days. Even so, she never expected to go through something like this again. In fact, she moved to the natural state from New Orleans to avoid it. Arkansas. I just, I just didn't think that, you know, they have stuff like this happen up here. Clayton's neighbor, Laurel Shuttleworth, says this is the first flood she's been through. She says when she first heard there would be historic high waters, she didn't think much of it yeah. since a tornado had touched down a block away the week before. I kind of made the joke um, to my spouse. I was like, you know, we need an adventure. And it's, it's like, I wish I would have never said that. Now, the damage in Shuttleworth's townhome is so bad, she got something she never even expected, sunflowers growing out of the carpet. This result of seeds being blown all over the room and fed with the flood water. The smell is terrible. Uh, you know, a lot of people didn't think it was going to be that bad. She had renter's insurance, but when she called about it, she found out it didn't help in this situation. If you, like, the pipe burst in your neighbor's house and you had to relocate or something along those lines, then it would actually cover your moving expenses. Shuttleworth says she's currently living with her parents and Clayton is living out of her car, trying to keep her spirits high. I'm going through a lot. I'm trying to hold up and be strong, you know, because they have other people that's worse off than me. A lot of people.